First leg of a big pick six on this Thursday afternoon has been won by the favourite number seven, Medida. Of course, uh, well ridden here by Gavin Larina. Well done to Lucky Udalakis, Nats, everybody, the owners, and I'm sure there's many happy people out there as well. Now, Gav, just uh, chatting to you off air, of course, a few antiques going down to the start has um, left you a little bit sore, and I'm hoping that you're okay. I'm obviously, you're going to chat to the medical doctor now, but uh, he seems to be like a little naughty boy when he wants to be. Yeah, I thought... I think he's just a little bit stubborn, but he's he's still learning what to do. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I was cantering down to the start on my own. And um, he had a good look at the road, and I, I, I slowed him down. And off the road, I let him go again. And I was going a strong cant, and he just decided to dig his toes in and took a bit of a tumble. But I'll let the doctor have a look at me now. Super Gav. Uh, let's hope that all systems go over there. But uh, back to him. He's a lovely horse. Of course, he's well put together, and he's got a beautiful action, doesn't he? Yeah, he moves. He's got. He moves wonderfully. Um, just great to get the win. Uh, you know, you're so green last time, and uh, you know today he proved good and he he travelled nicely for me. And well done to Natalie. She's holding the fort beautifully. To her and to Mr. Moore, and uh, well done to Lux. Get well, Lux. Okay, but I want to keep you much longer. I know you're in a lot of agony, so uh, go and get that checked out, and we'll chat to you maybe later. Thank you very much. Big thanks to Mr. Ricks. Beautiful to ride him another winner, and to Mrs. Uh, Adera, thank you very much, and uh, it's great to get the win. I just want to dedicate this one to, to my grandfather, Kenny Markle. Um, Jida, he's not well. Um, he's just got home from hospital, and Jid, this one's for you. hope this makes you feel better. Well done, Gav. Uh, let him go off to the medical doctor. Of course, um, Nats, good to have you on course. I know you've been uh, standing in while uh, Uncle Lux is a little bit um, out of uh, town for the moment, should we say, but um, how's he doing, first of all? He's doing exceptionally well. Um, he came out of hospital last week, Thursday. Um, he was at track Friday morning. Um, can't keep him away from his animals. Uh, he loves his horses. Um, but he's taking it slow. You know, he's obviously still quite quite sore, and it's going to be a bit of a recovery period. Um, but he's really good, um, and he's back with his horses, so he's happy. Shame. We'll certainly send him uh, our well wishes from the Teletrack team and everybody else. And just back to this customer, of course, um, just watching him go down to the start. He's got his antiques, but he's a lovely horse, isn't he? He is a lovely horse. You know, he's always been a nice looker um, and he's just got grown into a really lovely looking animal. Um, he had a, you know, he, first time out he ran second and then he injured himself. So he had a long layoff. Um, we gave him we gave him a chance to recover from that. And thank goodness he's bounced back, uh, you know, 100 um, percent. First run back, he ran second, like Gav said, very green. And today we were quietly confident today um, and he, he produced the goods. Um, Albeit giving Gav a bit of a hard ride to the start, and I really hope Gav's not too sore. Um, but you know what? Just kudos to, to Heinrich and Lizzie and Linda. They gave the horse a chance to recover. They gave him the time to, to heal and strengthen up. And you know what? He's duly rewarded them. So it's great. You've said it all, Nats. Well done, of course, to you and to Uncle Lux. Uh, just uh, of your runners coming up later on, I know you've got a nice uh, card, Pink. I think, yeah, we've got, I think we've got the three fillies in that race. Pink, Jungle Jane, and who's the other one? Uh, there's one more. Elus yes. uh, oh, so cold. Oh, so cold. Thank so you. Cold. It's first run for her out the maidens. Um, I think Pink will go very close. Um, she went down to the wire a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I think, you know, if she can reproduce that run and just go one better, I think she'll go very close. Um, and then we've got, who we got in the back end? Plumfield. Plumfield. Yeah, she's going up against the boys, but you know what? She always comes out trying, that little girl. Um, she always puts her best foot forward, so she could squeak into the places. Super stuff, mate. Go from strength to strength. Well done to you, and please, once again, send our wishes to Uncle Lux. I will do. Thank you so much. Have well done to Nats. Well done to everybody, of course. So wonderful people. Good to have them back in the winner's enclosure. And uh, Lucky Udalakis, I know you'll be watching this. Certainly get well soon, sir. I know that uh, you've been out uh, for a few weeks or few months, if we can put it that way, but uh, you love the game, and it's good to have uh, a horse that uh, means a lot to you, number seven, Medida, back in the winner's enclosure, and let's just hope that uh, Gavin Larina's okay, we'll have to stand by for news, because he wasn't um, looking too good, he was really in a lot of pain uh, coming to uh, do the interview, so uh, thank you for him for coming to join us, and uh, let's just hope that he is okay, so I'll keep you up to speed with that, but it is a good start for pick six players in terms of the pick six, number seven, Medida, the three-year-old son of Kildone, has won in fine style.